guys, welcome back to another vlog. We ready to go get packets. Nice. It's nine in the morning, and it's Thursday. It's my day off. Yes. What? You want pancakes? Last week, I ordered myself some glasses from Warby Parker. I didn't like the way they fit. I ordered myself some Warby Parker glasses. I didn't like the way they fit. They, they were too small for my big ass head. So, I need to go give them to her so she could uh, send them back for me today. I also got a pair of, an extra pair of these glasses that I'm wearing right now. 5154 Ray Ban, uh, I think they're called. What are they called? What are they called? What are they called? Whatever they're called. I was trying to sell those for a hundred dollars, but Amanda wanted ended up wanting to keep those, so I'm gonna go and give her her glasses. Well, these glasses, the ones I got, and the Warby Parker box. Let's get to it. That she decided to keep. So I'm out a hundred dollars. Thanks, babe. Hi, Liz. You're back. You're back. Hi, Liz. So I gave him to her but she ended up running back after me and then she just gave him back to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell them. Um, I do have a person that wants them so I might meet her today, later and give and hand them to her. Right now we're on our way to eat. What did he, what are we gonna eat? Uh, pancakes. Pancakes! Hoodoo! breakfast at McDonald's and today the idea for the video today is I'm gonna go back to where I grew up and I guess it's the segundo it's not segundo barrio like Chihuahuita area but it's segundo still it's like central area by Bui High School I should have gone to Bui High School but my mom started making a little bit more money and we got kicked out of housing so we had to move from there and then I ended up in the lower valley for middle of eighth grade and all the way through high school, that's where I met all my current friends. But yeah, we'll see you back when I'm in the neighborhood I grew up at. So this is literally the area, the neighborhood, where I grew up at, the International Bridge is literally right there. This is where I grew up, guys. My mom came here when she was 16 or 17, something like that. And, um, and she settled here in this area, particularly. This is the high school I should have gone to, Bui High School. Instead of Del Valle High School. Um, I'm gonna find a parking spot and then walk the area. <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna walk a lot because it's windy and I don't have a I don't have a mic cover for this camera yet. This is the area where I grew up, guys, right here. This used to be a uh, rock and roll. It's a local burrito place. That's new. Those warehouses there are new. 
this church is still the same church those are still the same and then these apartments right here there used to be more apartments where that parking lot is at so this is where I grew up guys this street right here this is where me and my friends would ride our bikes and hang out these are called the Thayez apartments and I grew up right there that second apartment I haven't been here in in years and it's it's crazy that it's where I grew up. Come on Daddy, let's walk. These are the same bushes that we used to play hide and seek around. And I used to live on apartment. I used to live in apartment 108. I'll show you guys. This is my apartment come. That's my apartment right there, 108. It's so eerie to walk here. It's so weird to just be here, walking around with my son. Come on, daddy. Come on. <sighs> Building 26. The same two trees are still there. This used to be my apartment right here. 108. There used to be my bedroom up there. <laughs> no, I never snuck down. It's just so weird. And then I used to play with the kids that were next door. It's empty now. I know you guys are able to see inside. It's just empty. I'm gonna see if I can walk to the park. I don't even know if the park is still there where. Like the neighborhood park, I don't even know if it's even up anymore. I'm gonna walk over there. But yeah, my mom, um, she's a single mom. She did the best she could with me. She would give me everything and anything I wanted and I, I think I thank her a lot because like like I always like reminisce and wonder what I would have been like if I wouldn't have grown here This is our mailbox right here. This is ours. Number two. So the way it used to work is um, oh, um, I would start right there next to the next to my house. There was a neighbor I used to call, Danny, and we used to scream each other's names outside. Danny, and he would come out, and then I would go next door next building over and I would call my friend Isai. I'm sorry if it's windy to call my friend Isai out and then I would make my way over here to this park and uh, we usually play like hide and seek or we just ride our bikes around and we just ramp our stuff and stuff like that. The park is not even here anymore guys. Um, before it was just a one lane street it was just a one lane street and um, now it's a two lane street. It looks like they're taking people out a building at a time and uh, I guess they're gonna knock him down here. One time we were racing, racing um, our bikes on this, on this road right here and then out of nowhere there's this drainage, there's this drain uh, rack in the middle of the street and it popped open and this thing right here this exact one popped open and like 10 to 15 people jumped out you can see right there where they welded it but people they welded it shut come on Elliot. they welded it shut after after that in incident and then like 20 to like 30 minutes later the border patrol showed up and they jumped in that hole 
and they were looking for more people. My friend Isai used to live right there where that uh, number 90, right there where the red door is at. And his mom used to carpool us all to school. And this was to our middle school. But it's so weird, it's just crazy. The lady that used to live in this apartment before used to hate when we used to climb this thing and, and play around. She hated that. <sighs> well, yeah, that was my apartment right there, 108. I grew up here in the upper part of the segundo. And then that was my elementary right there. Literally a block away. So it's so weird, it's so crazy to think how times have changed. It's just crazy. at scenic drive because shit I can drive all the way here and not come up the mountain but yeah I got a little emotional being down there it sucks like uh, I just remembered all, all the people that I used, I used to hang out with and I, all the people that I grew with all my neighbors curious on what happened to them or if they're doing good or what they're doing with their life but yeah guys um that was that. I was in my fields, you know. Se siente feo. Y se siente bonito. De haber salido de donde salí. And I mean, just, just look at life in a positive way. The most you can. I know problems. Everyone has problems. Money problems. Relationship problems. Health problems. Job problems. School problems. Unless you have like a like a terminal illness, you'll be in a better position six months from now. If you put a little bit of effort and good attitude to whatever you're going through right now. Always look at the bright side. A relationship is not the end of you. Money is not the end of you. As long as you have a will to keep going and have a positive outlook at life you will be okay six months from now and it's 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 and it's not the end of the world it's another learning lesson in your life so take that do whatever you want with it and i'll see you guys back on monday with some heat